What's going on guys? Your boy Chase Gaming. Alright, we're here playing with a little bit of Bermuda. It's an anime kind of puzzle, UFO, alien kind of stuff going on. So it has a little bit of voiceovers and pictures, slideshow, slideshow voiceover pictures and stuff like that. So we're going to get right into the intro. I'm going to probably do a little bit of a, a playthrough on this to see if you guys like it or not. I don't think I'm going to talk too much for the first part, it's the intro, and I want you guys to understand the story and really listen on to it. I haven't really played the game yet, I haven't really gotten too much into it, really, but we're definitely going to make a great, fun, fun thing out of this, so let me know what you guys think of this. We're going to get right into it, so, who does it's a Steam game, I think it's like three bucks or whatever, but, uh, yeah, let's jump into it, so I'm going to click on story, intro. So, uh, just sit back and enjoy the show. I'm gonna put everything on automatic. Hey, can you hear that? Yeah, probably just, just a ship or relaxed something. Relaxed voice? No ship I knew of made a noise that weird. Then again, it was also weird for Joe to be calling me out so suddenly. Let's not stray too far out. Paul will wonder where we went. It's fine. I want some time alone. Oh? If you need to relieve yourself, there's actually a bathroom back there. Uh, so insensitive. Hmm? You said something? Never mind. Wow! Hey, I was just playing around. You know I'm worried about you. That's what sexually uh, went okay. in it. Wow! <laughs> Listen, Eddie. I... There's that noise again. Sounds like it's getting closer. Jo opened her mouth to speak, but the noise blared once more and drowned out her words. A light beam shot out from under the sea. Guess that was what made the noise. Not that it made things any less confusing. All I knew was that Jo was far too close to that beam. Hey, she gets fucking sucked up in the light! I could have sworn I saw them come this way. Joanna? Eddie? What the hell? <laughs> he got sucked in too. Ha! Ah, sucker! You see a white light? No, we'll just walk into it. Walk it. Edward. Alright. Paul and Joanna, I guess they're like a couple. I think, yeah. Bukan? I think it is. Hmm. Alright. We're gonna get into a really good story here, boys. Oh, I got some lifesaver stuff going on there. Bermuda! Alright. Still got a little bit of dialogue left, so... Let's watch it together. Preparations complete. Ready to begin experiment. Understood. Conduct Operation 32 on male specimen A. Remember to perform procedures D through G. Be sure to leave no traces behind. Acknowledged. Commencing Operation 32. I remember being oh, put shit. onto some kind of operating table. What took place after that, I could no longer recall. Perhaps it was for the best. Now I found myself standing next to Paul, surrounded by aliens. Ones in blue armor and robes. They donned helmets that resembled water tanks, making their faces hard to discern. All the ceiling lights emitted a blue glow, making even the interior resemble the sea. The place smelled like the ocean, too. Joe stood before me, trapped in some sort of chamber. Chamber. Surrounded by aliens, aliens operating on operating on control panels. Uh, aliens. What are you bastards doing, Mister Joanna? Get your get your scrubby hands off me, hands oh, off my man. girl, girl. Paul always managed to speak his mind, no matter how dire a situation seemed. I only feared the aliens might make an example out of him. You humans are always so noisy. We're sending you three home. Keep quiet. Before we change, change your, your minds. Mind. I want to see what happens. 
You kidnapped us and we're expected to just sit and obey you? That's just wrong. That's so calm. Be grateful we gave you all translation devices. Without them, you'd have no clue what's going on. Actually, I would argue that I still had no clue what was happening. Paul did all the talking on my behalf. If I chimed in with more shouting, the aliens might kill us on the spot. Guarantee. Joe slapped her hands against the glass. She tried speaking to us, but the chamber blocked out her words. Beam fully charged. Prepared to send specimen home on so, command. So desperate. Acknowledged. Fire, Fire ready. When ready. In a flash, Joe vanished from the chamber. I half expected her to return after another flash, as if we were watching a magic trick. But that never happened. That's pretty awesome. What did you freaks I do to Joanna? The females returned home. You two are about to join her. Once you're back on the surface, you'll forget all that's happened here. Settle down and let us do our job. With Joe gone, I shifted my eyes to the portholes on the wall. Water filled the space outside, with fish swimming by on occasions. We must be inside some form of alien submarine. If the aliens were indeed sending us home, there was nothing else I would have wished for more. I only prayed they were telling the truth. Uh-oh. What's the matter? The beam's refusing to charge. Looks like the device Wait. has malfunctioned. Let me see that. That's impossible. The beams never failed us in all these years. A bunch of liars, all of you. I'll bet you're plotting some other plan yeah. for us. No, that human is as acting rowdy, and we have and we have a way of sending him back, back. We might have to silence them both. Those words made even Paul fall quiet. I should have known things would never turn out smoothly. It had been a while since I last spoke. Perhaps I should say something, but one wrong word and we were goners. Agreed. Yes, it's too risky to keep these two on our ship. Oh, fish heads. Or I fish agree. Holes. We should act without delay. That's enough. Everyone, including the aliens, froze upon hearing this unfamiliar voice. Be at peace, all of you. We summon these guests to better understand the surface world. It's our duty to ensure they return home unharmed. C Commander Finyomu. Of course, as you will. That alien just called this girl Commander. She must have been no older than five or six. Damn. In fact, I never even noticed her until she five, spoke. Five-year-old Commander? Ooh. This little kid is your Commander? That's freaky. <laughs> Eddie, guess we got nothing to worry about. There's no way I'll clowns let clowns like, like them. them threaten me. <laughs> Paul marched toward the girl, who looked him in the eye and appeared unfazed. None of the aliens stepped in Paul's way. Paul was well over six feet tall. Perhaps even these six aliens were intimidated. Tall, guys. One more step, and your head goes flying. A woman appeared before Paul. She showed up so swiftly that even he was caught off guard. There was a blade of some sort in her hand. With the sword pressed against Paul's neck, he had no choice but to retreat a step. I hate that. I've never been in that kind of situation. No one harms the commander under my watch. Know your place, surfacers. You're on our ship. I'll be more than happy to send you both out into the sea. I don't sea. want to drown, no thanks. There's no need for threat, threats, Mukan. As you, As desire, you desire, Commander. Mukan sheathed her blade upon hearing Finyomu's order. It looked like this woman obeyed the Commander like the rest of them. Let us conduct a meeting to discuss what actions we must take. Until then, the two humans shall remain they on look board like as humans. guests. Funny how we could be abducted and then be referred to as guests. Paul made no further advances against the aliens. He cast a glare at Mukon, who paid him no attention. At least our lives were spared for now. As for how long things would stay this way, only time would only tell. Only time would tell. Alright guys, that is it for now. We are on... Uh, well, we just finished introduction to the Bermuda game on Steam. You can get it for like 3 bucks or whatever. Um, yeah, nice introduction. I really like how the game's been made. You know, they have like a slideshow going on. They have a tiny bit of animation in every picture, whether it's a glowing light, whether it's moving waters in the background. Um, sometimes people are going to be walking back and forth. And I really like the voiceover. It gives a, it has a, a nice 
from this point it has a a good a good coverage on story, a good introduction, and we're gonna get more into it about how the game um how the story gets unveiled and how these guys are gonna uh return to the surface um you know without this ship getting exposed to uh to earth. I guess they've been hiding under the sea for many years, apparently due to what they were saying about the tele well, the teleporters breaking down or whatever. So we're gonna find out more about the story. That is the introduction for the game. Um let me know. I'm planning to do a playthrough of this guys if you like it, you know, let me know. Okay. So act one's coming out in the next one guys. Peace!